passive income is the American dream. Everybody wants to make money while sleeping or on the beach or doing nothing at all. Everybody wants this type of income, but people don't know how to do it the right way. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you five ways of how to make passive income and how personally I've been able to make over $5,000 a month in passive income. I'll show you my bank statements and I'm gonna provide you the details so that you could create passive income yourself. First, let's define what passive income is because there's a lot of confusion around the term passive income. Very similar to the word diet or success, the word passive income has kind of a either a scammy type of feel to it because there's a lot of people selling stuff that gives you passive income or people think it's the ideal dream where you're just sitting back, sipping on a margarita, looking at your phone and seeing hundreds of dollars just show up in your bank account. However somebody makes passive income, it is not entirely passive. There's always a system that needs to be created once or several times or maintained and then that system is going to create passive income or recurring income or consistent income where you don't have to do anything involved to get that extra money. Basically, you set it and forget it and let the money roll in. But that set it part is the hardest part and the part that trips up people the most because people don't wanna put in the time, energy, or effort into creating a system that then creates passive income. Therefore, many people just give up over the first obstacle and then they don't get any passive income. But in this video, I'll show you the five ways of how you can set up a system and I'll be realistic, I'm not gonna sell you anything or tell you that it's easy, but I'll show you the exact systems of how I was able to create passive income. Let's get started. The first way to create passive income, basically what you're watching right now, is YouTube. YouTube is a set it and forget it type of platform. Like I said before, the set it part is the hardest part. Once you create a video though, that video is out being shared with maybe hundreds, thousands, millions of people, and in the process, you could be making money from every person that watches that video. In a minute, I'll share with you how I was able to make over $5,000 a month with YouTube videos, but first, let me just tell you how to get started with YouTube the right way and how you, how you can create passive income. So with YouTube, making a video is hard. Right now, I'm just standing in a room talking to a camera, but this video could be potentially shared with thousands and hopefully millions of people. But the hardest part is getting started. So at the time of filming this video, why Sense YouTube channel is not monetized, therefore I am not making any money from ad revenue. But my other channel, Wise Flies, which has around 190,000 subscribers, that channel is consistently making money uh, from every video that it's shown because of YouTube ads. The first and probably most common way you can make passive income on YouTube is through the YouTube Partner Program, which means that every video you have, you could have it monetized, and then you're gonna make maybe one to five cents for every time someone views a video, but over hundreds, thousands of views, millions of views, it could add up. And I'll show you exactly how much a million views got me. So let's dive into my Wiseflies analytics. Wiseflies is my other channel, which is monetized. On that channel, I teach about credit cards and travel points so people could travel anywhere in the world almost free. Personally, I've been fortunate enough to travel around the world. I've been to seven continents, over 50 countries. And most of these travels have been almost free by using airline miles and hotel points, which is what I teach about on that channel. So let's get into the analytics. April 2020, I was able to get around 1,365,000 views, and that gave me $5,674 in YouTube ad revenue. So with YouTube, it's a 55-45% split. YouTube pays you when people go on your channel, they watch your videos, and for every view, you can make one cent, two cent, three cent. It really depends on what your topic of video is. But in this example, making around $5,000 just uh, by sharing a few videos on YouTube, I think is amazing because if I could keep that up for the entire year, that's around $60,000, which is just above the median salary in the US. Now back to the question of whether or not a YouTube channel is passive, let's talk about my videos from over two years ago. So this video right here, I talk about how to get free airport lounge access with credit cards. And this video, the past 28 days, so I'm filming this September 6th, this video made me a dollar and 30 cents. May not seem like a lot, 
but I have over 300 videos on my Wise Flies channel and each of them could make just a few cents a day or a few dollars a day from videos I created over two years ago, then that's passive income. That's money going into my account where I just create that video once and for years to come, I'm still making money from it. Uh, so as we could see, this was published, I don't think it says, but uh, I think it was August of 2018. I started my YouTube channel July uh, 22nd of 2018. Um, and then if we look at how much money it's made total, so it made $47 total. So let's just say over the next few months, it's or over the past few months, it's making a dollar a month. You know, that adds up over time. Now, if you are interested in creating a YouTube channel, let me give you some quick rapid fire tips of how you could create passive income from it and probably grow the fastest. So a style video like this where it's talking head, you don't need all this fancy editing at first. You know, this is 300 videos in. Um, so this type of editing style video is a little advanced, you don't wanna start with this. Just a basic talking head, you wanna make sure there's good lighting, there's good audio, and that's all you need. You could sit in front of a window and maybe buy a $15 microphone, and then you could film it on your cell phone. With my YouTube channel, Wise Flies, the first 100 videos were all filmed on a cell phone, and I was still able to make thousands of dollars just by doing that. Next tip is that if you wanna be monetized and get some of that YouTube ad money, you're gonna need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 hours watched. The only way to do that is to create a lot of videos. Most YouTubers have to create hundreds of videos to get to that point, but if you could create some type of format or template to create multiple videos to get to that point and still make it high quality, that's the best way to do it. Figure out a system of how to film fast, edit fast, and then publish fast, ideally film a few videos at once, and be prepared with the fact that you may have to publish around 100 videos before making any money at all. Next tip is the topic of YouTube videos. So not all YouTube videos make the same amount of money. Kids videos where it's the, you know, the singing songs or nursery rhymes, those make maybe 50 cents for every thousand views. Uh, but a video like this that's on a personal finance channel or anything money related, this can make up to $15 for every thousand views. Or beauty channels where it's makeup or tech review channels where you're reviewing cell phones, laptops, those make a lot of money. Or anything money related, credit cards, personal finance, budgeting, those make a lot of money too. So research what topic video you would like to make on YouTube, something that you can make hundreds of and make sure that it pays well. But even if your YouTube channel is not monetized, there's still a way to make over $5,000 a month and that is affiliate income. Which brings us to our second way to make passive income, which is affiliate income. Basically affiliate income means that you are selling some product of some sort, it could be a service, and basically you are getting a commission for every time someone buys that product. So however you want to sell this, whether it's a YouTube channel, a blog, social media, or just sharing this with friends and family, every time someone purchases something through that link, then you get a commission. And it really depends on what the commission split is depending on what platform. You may have heard of Amazon. So every time you buy something on Amazon through an Amazon affiliate link, then you could get a commission. It could be anywhere from 1% to 5%, sometimes as high as 8% on whatever product you're buying. And if someone is gonna buy a $2,000 laptop through your Amazon affiliate link, you could make a good $50, $100. Now there's two ways you could get affiliate income. One is the active way where you're basically a salesperson and you're going to this person saying, hey, buy through my link or buy this through my link, right? And that completely defeats the purpose of passive income. The second way is to put the link out there and let people click through that link and purchase whatever product and then you get commission. The best way to do that is mainly to have a following or to have a lot of people know, like, and trust you enough to click through your link and purchase whatever product and you get that affiliate income passively. By the way, if you're getting any value from this video, please hit the like button down below. This way YouTube could share this video with more people. 
Also, if you want more wise money tips to build a wealthy future, subscribe to the channel. This way you can learn how to make money, save money, and invest money. I will show you my method of how I was able to make over $5,000 in passive income through affiliate links. Now, I'm sharing these numbers with you, not to brag. I don't want you to get the wrong idea about why I'm sharing you how much money I make. I wanna share this with you to inspire you and show you what is possible if you set up these systems right and how much money you can make, and hopefully you can make way more money and passive income than I'm showing you in this video. With this method I'm about to share with you right now, I was able to make over $5,000 in passive affiliate income. So back in October of 2019 on my Wise Flies channel, I may have had maybe around five to 6,000 subscribers. The company SoFi had this deal where if you sign up for their bank account and you put $100 in the bank account, you get $100 and, or the person refers you gets $100 and the person who signs up gets $50. So this will make more sense. I'll show you in this account right here. So this is on the SoFi website uh, and this was probably the best affiliate deal there ever was. So basically I funded my account on October 28th. I put $100 in and just for putting $100 in, I got $50. So that's 50 free dollars there just for putting $100 in. Then what I did is I made a YouTube video sharing this deal, this amazing deal where you sign up and you get $100. And basically that video got thousands of views. And because of that, a lot of people saw it was a great deal too because I educated them on the deal. And then they sign up through my link. And every time someone signed up, I got $100. So you could see on this first day here, August, uh, October 28th, it was $100, $100, $100, $100, $100 all the way uh, up until so minus that hundred dollars. So I made over eleven $1 hundred dollars just on this first day. And if we go through, um, they had it at a hundred dollars and I just kept sharing this YouTube video with a lot of people and basically said, Hey, if you want to make money, watch this YouTube video and use my link in the description. And they did. And then up until November 5th. So I got like a good week before they decreased it down to $50. But as you could see, I was still getting referrals, making $50, $50, and then it went down to $25. Uh, but as you can see, I made over $4,000 in affiliate income uh, just from a few months, uh, from October 28th until December 31st. So I made, yeah, around over $4,000 just by making a YouTube video, putting the link in the description and sharing it out with more people. So if a deal like that comes along and it's affiliate income, figure out a way to systematize it so that you could share this link with as many people as possible and therefore everyone just signs up and you don't have to physically go to every person and say, hey, sign up through my link, sign up through my link. If you could create a video, maybe just on Facebook, Facebook or whatever social media platform you have and then have the link in the description below that, that could be another way of how you could take advantage of something like this. Uh, then for that month of October, um, I know I said it made over $5,000, but uh, that month I also made $1,334 in YouTube ad money. So between the SoFi deal and that, it was you know over $5,000. And the other way that I've been able to make affiliate income as passive income on my YouTube channel, Wiseflies, is by partnering up with credit card companies. Now, this depends on what type of market you're in, what type of information you wanna put out there. You could figure out which uh, program or which partner is out there that you could partner up with, and then you could put their link and then share it with your people. So when people sign up, you make money. What I did, if we look at my bank statement here, I partnered up with a company that every time someone signed up for a new credit card on any of my YouTube videos, I actually made money. So I can't say how much money I made from the credit card company or say which company, because I'm partnering with a few of them and I want to protect that partnership. But as you can see, um, April, I made $135 or $252. And this is 100% passive. I just put these links in my YouTube videos and then if people signed up, and they got approved for a credit card, then this company paid me. So as you can see, January was a good month, I made $1,800, or it could be as low as $27. It really depends, um, but this is another way that I was able to make passive income. And the next way that you could make passive income is by selling a digital product. A digital product could be an ebook, 
a course, or a membership site, and I'll give you examples of each. Basically, the way this differs from physically selling any of these things is when you physically sell something, you could make a lot of money, but you are limited to the amount of time you could actually give in, in the process of making any sales. Salesmen who have a no cap and they can make an unlimited amount of sales, as long as they have to be there for the sales process, they will never make an unlimited amount of money. Compared to the internet, where whatever product you sell online, you could, this is the money where you make it while you're sleeping. Your store or whatever you're selling is open 24 seven. Someone could buy something from you at two in the morning, five in the morning, or during the day while you're working your other job. And that's how you make more money and passively with digital products. You set it up once, and then once that system is in place, then when people purchase that product, that's how you make passive income. If you want to sell an ebook and you don't have a platform yet, what you could do is anytime you make a Word document, you could just download it as a PDF, you could add pictures to it, then you just put a nice title on it. Obviously, there's more to the process now, I'm just simplifying it. You put, you put a nice title on it, a nice cover, and you could have that done through the website fiber.com and figure out how to create your ebook from beginning to end for less than $20, $30. And then once you have that ebook, you could sell it on Amazon with Kindle, or you could sell it on your own, on your own website, or if you have Facebook, Instagram, whatever, you could put a link to buying that ebook, and then anytime someone buys that ebook, whether it's selling for $5, $10, up to $50, if you're solving a good problem, then you could charge however much money you want, then you will make money, and that money will go into your bank account, and you don't have to be there for the process. And if you wanna make passive income from a course, you don't have to be a guru or a know-it-all, you just have to be a little higher up the mountain than the person below you. You don't have to be the best, you just have to be a little bit better than the person who wants to buy the solution from you. So whatever you are teaching, whether it's how to make jewelry, how to put on makeup, how to make a smoothie, how to change oil in a car, whatever it is, if you could just film short two to three minute videos, several of them, and you are complete, you are solving a problem from the time that someone watches it to the end and they have a solution, that is a course right there. There's many different course platforms. Probably one of the best one is teachable.com, and it's very straightforward. You just get the template, you film the videos on your cell phone, you have the course right there, and it sells it in the, in the marketplace, or you could just share this link with friends, family, or whatever following you have, and then every time someone buys that course, you make money that way. The next digital product would be a membership site. And this is something that I've made, and I'll share with you how much money I've made from it. So basically, it's taking eBooks, courses, bundling it all together where someone has access to this information and they're paying on a monthly basis or it could be weekly basis or bi-monthly or once a year. It really depends on how the membership structure is set up. But this is something that I did with my Wiseflies brand as well. And it's actually the way that I created my YouTube channel. So originally I created a membership site and then I thought, all right, how am I gonna market this? Then I decided to make YouTube videos. And now the YouTube, income is more than my membership site. But basically, the way I get started with the membership is I created several different videos teaching people how to get started by opening up a credit card, what happens to credit score, then which miles you use to get on certain trips. And then once I started building that up, it was probably around a few hours of videos and then I had a few different things in that membership site to have people wanting to keep getting back into that membership site to learn more. So I had an area that had several ways of how to get free miles and points that was constantly being refreshed every week. This way people could, would wanna keep paying the amount of money that it cost to be in that membership per month. I also had a few other things that I was constantly updating in there so that people kept paying that monthly fee. So if we look at my bank statement, you could see over the past few months how much money I've made. And honestly, I just shut down my membership site not too long ago. The reason why is because I stopped refreshing it, but yet people still go back for the information. They have access to the eBooks I provide for the courses, as well as other things. Um, but with a membership site, you wanna keep refreshing it, but numbers have gone down. But as you can see, it goes anywhere from $4. This is um, from Stripe. So this is after the fee, it's like $25.92. 
that is a $27 a month uh, membership. So I had a few different tiers where people got certain things at certain prices. Uh, that's always a good way to structure membership. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, different uh, prices. And for the first year that I, or actually the second year, I forgot. But for the membership, I think I made around a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars for that year, and that was passive, where I created the membership once. And I guess it wasn't completely passive because I did add a few things to it and updated it and little maintenance. And then that made me like a few thousand dollars for the first year. And then it was $1,500 with no work whatsoever. And the next way to make passive income is through dividends. So when you get dividend passive income, basically the way it works is you are investing in a certain stock. This could be Coca-Cola, this could be AT&T, this could be Microsoft, and anytime you put money into the stock, they're going to yield a dividend. This could be anywhere from 0.1% or it could be as high as 8%. So an example of 8% dividend means that for every $100, you may get $8. And this could be paid every quarter, which is every three months, or it could be paid once a year. And it really depends on how much money you put in to determine how much money you're going to receive in dividends. And this is definitely a set it and forget it method in terms of passive income. You purchase a stock through any brokerage. I have a list of different brokerages down below. You, if you sign up through Robinhood, that's a free brokerage. You get a free stock just for signing up. Or Webull, that's another free brokerage. I have a bunch of those in the spreadsheet down in the description below. But anytime you sign up for, or if you look for a stock and you invest invest in it, then you get paid dividends. Now there's two things you could do with the dividend. You could do DRIP, which is D Dividend Reinvestment Program, which means that any dividend money you receive, so it could be a dollar, $10, however much, you could reinvest it into the stock, or you could take that dividend money, take it out of the account, put it in your bank account, buy food with it, pay for bills, you could do whatever you want. So if we go into my Robinhood brokerage account, we could see an example of how much I got paid from dividends. So from Sirius XM, I got paid one cent, and then from Wells Fargo on September 2nd, I got paid $10. So it's gonna determine how much money you put into the stock to determine how much money you're going to get in dividends. And the next way to make passive income is to rent your room or your car. So if you have any space or anything that is not being used, you might as well make money from that. So let's use the example of renting out a room and making money from that. And this could be on a short term basis. So if you sign up through Airbnb and if you have an extra room in your house or apartment, or maybe if you have a mother-in-law suite, or if you want to rent out your entire room or apartment, you could do that and then stay with a friend or family member while someone is staying in your place for maybe a few days and then you get paid in the process. So I actually know someone who rents out their whole entire apartment on Airbnb and any time that someone rents out their place, they're getting paid $200 per night and then they just stay at a friend's or family member's house. Then once that person is done staying in their house, they may stay up to three days, you can make it however you want. They got paid $600, a portion of that goes towards a cleaner who cleans the house and then they go back to their house and go about life as normal. To use this example for your car, let's just say you're not gonna be using your car over the next few days. You could rent it out on Turo.com and I actually did this, I rented a BMW i8 for the day just to make some YouTube videos on it and cool looking graphics and stuff. But I was able to rent that out for, I think it was up maybe like 100 or $200 for the day. And that means someone made 100 $200 just for renting out the car that they didn't need for the next 24 hours. And then I had to clean it up. I filled it up with gas and did all of that. And they didn't have to do anything. I returned the car back and they took their car and that was it. So that was a way that they made passive income. And that person actually had a BMW i8, they had Lamborghinis, Ferraris, and they lived in a fancy apartment complex in Miami and they would just rent out all the cars on a regular basis. But if you wanted to rent your car on Toro.com, of course there's gonna be insurance and stuff and you're gonna be compensated so you don't have to worry about that part. But then you could have it go out for the day for the week and make passive income from that. And this could be around your schedule, just like renting out your room on Airbnb. Now, before you get to the passive income level, most likely you're gonna need some active income first, figure out a system, 
outsource it, automate it, then you can make it passive. Before you get to passive, it's gonna take a lot of work. But if you wanna learn some other ways of how to make money that isn't passive, you could click this playlist over here. I have a few different ways of how you can make money just from the internet. You can make money from the comfort of your own home. You could click this video right now and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.